We're at North 40 right now, picking up our rabbit hutches to start our rabbit adventures. We got rabbit feed, chicken feed, rabbit hutches, everything we should need to set up. So we think we found some rabbits that we might want to go pick up tonight, but we need somewhere to put them when we get them home. So I'm going to attempt to build this myself. I'm not Can I help? a fantastic builder, possibly. Here, whoa, hold on, let's lay it sideways. Because that looks like a tray full of stuff. It says it's an easy assembly. But, um, what in the I, that's a rabbit put a Swiffer together wrong, so. Wait, what's this, Mom? It's a rabbit feeder. That's a feeder. What? It's a rabbit feeder. What? What? Whoa. <laughs> what? You one time put a Swiffer together? I did one time assembled a Swiffer incorrectly. I tried to put together a dresser one time and I got to step four and got stuck and Junior came home and I had already done one step wrong. So. Well, this is water. I know that because uh, I see lots of pages. This is a bite oh of water. no, I ripped it above the line. Simple instructions. Cut out a hole in the front cover. Cut out a hole? I don't know how to cut out a hole. What? Cut out a hole in the front panel for the feeder using a wire cutter. We have wire cutters, I can go get some. It came with wire cutters, you said? Okay, it came with wire cutters, I just found. See, um, isn't that to but we've discussed my past assembling history, and I don't feel confident mm. <laughs> cutting the wires. Let me. So wait, we'll just. I'll do it. All right. Lay out the hutch panels as shown in figure three. This shouldn't be so hard. All right, watch out. All right. So let's move this box. Well, that didn't work. Madeline, we used to One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So this one is going to be at the top. And then there's one in the middle. Why does it have black around it? None of these have black around them. So we'll hold it together. That's where I am eventually going to put quips. Okay. Oh, they're all different sizes. Crap. Okay. <laughs> There's so many of them. They yeah. just... The, you think you only need four, right? The biggest one. Well, it looks like I used five. Okay, scooch over. It looks like we do the rectangular-ish ones on the sides, and then the big, the big one in the center. And then I'm yeah, guessing that big one will go, go on, on top. top. What about this tiny guy? What does this thing go? This is not easy to assemble. Wait, maybe that might go, that might hold on the water. That might, okay. So lay out the hutch panels as shown in figure three. You can put the door on the right or the left side. Fasten a clip at each circle. Do not put a clip. Oh, I have a feeling I'm not gonna do this right. Let's just get the toe band out. No. Let's just get the toe band. I think this is above my skill level. All right. Plan B. We're going to wait for Junior to come home because I do not want to bend all these wire clips and do it wrong. And then... We just put them in the tote Yeah. We'll, we'll pick them up in a tote bin. Okay. So, this is false advertisement. So... I fixed it. Oh, there we are. <laughs> now it tells the truth. Well, it took a lot of hard work, but I finally got these rabbit cages built. 
Just kidding. Junior came home from work and built them for me. Now we're just waiting on our rabbits. We're supposed to meet them today for the rabbits, but they have not been good communicators, and so I'm not sure if it's actually going to happen. Dang, you got bunnies? Me too. Dad, can I carry it? Can I touch you? Can I hold all of them? Can I get a look? Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. <laughs> oh, I want a pet. Don't let the dog near him. He's going to eat them. Can I hold it? Let me see. Oh, hold the girl. Let me hold the girl. Keep it over the thing. But keep it away Dad, from the dog. Oh, it's so cute. Ow. Feeding, show me. They got really Feeding. sharp claws. Show me. Oh, yeah, it's so cute. cute. Those are bigger than I thought they'd be. Oh. Madeline. Yeah, don't grab them by their claws. They're not chicken. Oh, grab this them by one's their white. I can't yeah. hold them. They're so tiny. The white ones uh, have the dough, and the black ones the butt. Here. Well, careful. Don't don't grab it aggressively. Oh, Madeline. Oh, this guy. Right. <laughs> oh. That one's scary as So eyes. cute. They're so soft. Oh my gosh. Trying to eat the cardboard earlier. There, now they won't hurt their little feet. Oh, dang. See how they instantly jump on it? Does it hurt them? Mm -mm. Well, the wire. The rabbits cannot live inside. When they pee, they squirt out of the cage. Fun fact that was gross this morning. I almost lost my breakfast. So, we're thinking that they are going to go in here. Oh my goodness, if I can get it open. It has these double doors that come open so that they can get ventilation in the summer. It's not insulated, so the wind can come through the cracks. And there's power just right over here in case we need to put a fan in here to get the air blowing. But, as you can see, it's already full of stuff. So, we're going to take just this area, clear it out, take all this stuff up to a different shed that we have on our property, and then we're going to build a little table there to set their cages on. I managed to shove a lot of stuff over to the side. Junior might have something to say about that when he gets home, but it's really big stuff. And so that that looks like it should be enough space. I've got my little helper out here. So we load the wagon full. Do you want to carry the wagon or do you want me to? Um, I'll do it. Okay. Ooh, can you turn it around without hitting the lawnmower? All right. Do you need me to help you get that handle ready? How do you take it out? There you ah. go. It might be too heavy for you. We are going uphill. How does it go slowly so these can break off? Oh, a tackle box. How about I carry the tackle box? I carry. How about I carry the wagon? You carry the tackle boxes. Okay. Okay. You want me this one too? Um, no, that one's not gonna fall off. All right. I bet you dad is like 40 pounds. You think so? Yeah. So we're just going to go up the hill and around the corner to where we have another empty shed that we can stick this stuff in. Mom, be careful. That empty shed has a ton of bees' nests, and the bees might come back there since it's warm. Uh-oh. Madeline was just right up here releasing her skink back into the wild. I, I said it free by Bubbles' grave. That's the grave of her fish. And there's the other shed. It's crazy how, um, they, oh no, the fish is called the daddy. Uh oh, we had a falling out. We'll have to fix them. We've successfully made it. We thought about putting the rabbits in here initially, but it's a lot farther from the house and coming up the hill in the winter and bringing them water and stuff, we thought it would just be a huge pain. Huge pain. But it's pretty nice in here. It's got a floor and everything. But like Madeline said, there's old wasp nests everywhere. Mom, look, it's a wire. Wire. Yeah, barbed wire. All right, well, let's load it up, Madeline Grace. Got everything in. Got everything in here. The uh, fishing poles were a little bit tangled, 
Mm -hmm. But we got it handled, didn't we, Madeline? Yeah. All right. Walking back, I noticed my son made the chickens a little swing. He's so creative. This chair is out here because he will just come and sit with them. I don't particularly want it out here because they're going to poop on it, so I'm going to have to yell at him. But it's very sweet. I'm going to... I'm gonna see if I can do this two at a time. Junior used to work at Les Schwab, so I'm gonna make him proud and try to roll two tires at once. Oh boy. You're doing good so far. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He gonna roll these all the way up the hill? Right, well, that worked barely until I got to the uphill portion of the trip. Mm -hmm. There's one tire put away right now. <laughs> I'll be making them multiple trips. Got a helper here who's gonna help me push tires. <laughs> There's a poke in it that I put my finger on. Uh oh. Once we get him up to the top and it flattens out, it's a piece of cake. It's this hill. You're doing amazing, Madeline. Look at you go, girl. My this mom's got an antenna. The fishing pole piece fell out and we can't seem to remember to bring it up. So I'm just taking it with me like this. Dylan decided to come out and help us, and I got a huge head start on my tire, and he comes booking it up the hill, and he's like, I'm gonna beat you, Mom! And then tripped and fell, and his tire fell on him. I'm so glad I have a big, strong son. He stacked all of those for me. Madeline, I thought we were gonna gut it out together, girl power, but I'm so glad the boys came out and helped us. Caden came out and rolled a tire, too. Good job, Dylan. Thank you so much, buddy. We just cleaned out the bottom of the trays and brought them out here to where they're going to be staying. We're going to build a little table under them eventually, but for now, they'll be out here spending the night. <laughs> Let's see. Here they come. We named them uh, Jim, Bob, and Michelle after our favorite breeders.